Welcome to video five. Crampons. A fundamental piece of gear you are going to require for getting out and about in the winter, in the mountains, on technical terrain, is a pair of crampons. For grade one, two and three, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference what kind of crampons you have. Saying that, we're going to consider the different types of crampons, how they fit on different types of boots, and the kind you might want moving forward into grade two, three, and four as you progress up through the grades. So, to begin with, the different types of crampons. You may have seen this listed. You probably have if you've been looking into winter climbing, but you may have seen crampons listed as C1, C2, and C3. Basically, strap-on with a wee bit of flex at the C1 end of the spectrum, clip-on, fully rigid, at the other end of the spectrum at C3 with semi-clip-on, semi-strap-on, no giggling, in the middle there at C2. That's just a general rule of thumb, it's not precise science, however, the more technical you're moving up into technical terrain, technical boots, all the rest of it, you're going to be more towards the C3. The less technical winter walking, winter mountaineering, you're going to be more on C1 with a wee bit of flex for slightly softer boots. C1 crampons will usually strap onto the feet, no laughing, with a couple of big plasticky toe baskets and heel basket and big old strap that you wrap around there and do up as tight as you can. They're absolutely bomb proof. Bomb proof words you'll hear a lot in climbing get used to because they strap on they hold tight no chance of them falling off really unless somehow the straps work loose so in a way they're almost the safest unlike these wee fully clip on ones they can ping and pop off they probably won't don't worry about that fully strap on crampons they're very secure you strap them on they'll stay on your boots Usually you pair them up with a pair of B1 boots, but you can, if you just want to do some winter hill walking and mountaineering, you can stick a pair of C1 strap-on crampons onto a burly pair of ordinary mountain boots and go out and have some fun. I've done it, my friend's done it, loads of people have done it. However, you may as well try and move into the B-rated boots, which we'll talk about later. The type of crampons you buy is going to be wholly contingent upon the type of boots that you buy. You'll probably want to buy your boots first, get a pair that really fit you, really work for you, and then pair up your crampons with them. So if you get a pair of boots that have a rear clip on the heel, you can get a pair of C2 crampons that have a rear clip that clips on. You can also get a pair of C1 crampons that are fully strap-on. Fully strap-on crampons go on any kind of boot. As you move up the C ratings, they go on fewer types of boots. A C2 crampon will usually have a rear clip, a front toe basket that you then strap on, very secure, solid as hell. You pair them up with B2 boots. You can go and do some pretty technical terrain if you've got a fairly stiff pair of B2 boots, a semi-clip-on pair of crampons. You can go up some pretty technical terrain up to about grade five or six. It's when you start moving into grade five and six, you might start thinking about a fully rigid boot, a fully rigid crampon, mono points, all the rest of it. We'll talk about that shortly. C3 crampons, you will normally pair these up with B3 boots. See a pattern emerging here? Fully stiff soles, fully stiff crampons, fully clip on. C3, B3. Not a Star Wars character. The pair of crampons you buy will depend on the type of boots you buy. However, if you see a great deal on a pair of crampons and you just have to have them, then buy them and you can always pair up your boots later. If you get an amazing deal on crampons, do that. So, climbing grade one to three, you can get away with pairing a robust pair of boots, ideally B rated, and a strap on pair of crampons, all the way up to grade three, with that setup. However, moving into grade three, you're definitely going to start to notice if you don't have B rated boots and a good solid pair of crampons with sharp front points on them. Climbing a grade one to three, you don't need madly technical gear. A pair of C1 crampons paired with a pair of B1 boots and you can climb to your heart's content. So 
It just all depends on what you can afford and what you can lay your hands on. If all you can afford is a second hand strap-on pair of crampons, buy them. Usually there'll be 12 points, you can get away with 10 points on lower grade terrain, but ideally go for 12 point crampons with a good sharp pair of front points. But you can always sharpen them if they're blunt, just buy them, sharpen them, buy what you can afford. So you don't need madly technical gear. If strap-on C1 crampons is all you can get, get them, you'll be fine grade one to three. Pair them up with a good stiff pair of boots. You'll be totally dandy. As always, I would recommend your own ambitions, your own progress by buying C2 crampons, semi-automatic, rear clip. You can stick them on B2 boots, a bit stiffer. They will see you all the way up to grade five, even beyond if you buy the right kind of crampon. There's another consideration you have to bring into play here with these crampons rather than just the C ratings. The other consideration you must consider when buying crampons is a modern concern for modern folks. Mono point or dual point. As you can see, I've gone for a wee bit of a hybrid. It has a sort of mono point. It's the Black Diamond Snaggletooth. I used to have dual points, but all of the reading I was doing online, all of the experience I was gaining out in the mountains, convinced me that a monopoint was the way to go. Because it acts just like your big toe when you're normally climbing. It gives you that wee freedom of movement to pivot on your big toe, drop your heel, back step. You get that on a tiny, tiny little hold, and you can pivot around all day long. Feels a bit more like regular kind of climbing. Gives you that flexibility of movement that a dual point doesn't really give you. However, when you're talking grade one, two, and three, dual points are absolutely fine. Getting a mono point is only really a big case of future proofing, because like me, you don't want to have to buy several pairs of crampons as you move on up. My first pair of crampons were dual points and they were Gravel Airtex. I got them because I price matched them at Go Outdoors, got them down from 120 down to about 87 or something. They're very lightweight, they're quite low profile, they're great for walking in. If you can get a pair of them, they will do you all the way up to about grade five. My next pair of crampons were Black Diamond Sabretooth, the twin sister to these. They're exactly the same as these, but they have two equally sized front points. I got them because I liked how small they packed up. Again, I got them on a deal, found them for about 85 pounds online. However, when your climbing ambitions overtake the gear you have, you start to look around at all the sexy gear, decided to go for a mono point. Like I said, you don't need a mono point unless you're planning on climbing into higher, more technical terrain, up to sort of grade five and beyond. Dual point is 100% fine for everything below grade five. So if you can get a cheap pair of dual point crampons, just buy them. The standard bearer for many a year was the Gravel G12. I personally think they're looking a wee bit old fashioned now, but if you can get a pair, get them. They're brilliant, they'll last for a lifetime. Gravel are always worth getting because they make top quality gear. A cheaper alternative to the Gravel G12s that perform exactly the same as they do are the Singing Rock. Fakir, I think they are. My friend got a pair of these for 55 quid on sale, just like the Gravel G12s, perfectly good. It'll do you all the way up to about grade five. All of the main brands do very good 12 point, dual point crampons, ranging from strap-on to fully automatic clip-on. You can pick them up for under hundred pounds. You can pick them up second-hand on Gumtree and eBay or Outdoor Gear Exchange again, what have you. You can pick them up for 40, 50, 60 pounds, sometimes even cheaper if you find a really good deal. Bag a pair, 12 point, dual point, strap on, clip on, semi-automatic, whatever, just get a pair. They will do you all the way up to grade three, four, even onto the odd easy five. If you want to go for mono point because you plan on climbing through five or into five, I would personally recommend going for something like the Black Diamond Stinger the Gravel G22, the Petzl Dart, or the Petzl Lynx, which you can switch between dual point and mono point. Very useful. 
Or of course, there's always our old friend Decathlon. Gear, a much more affordable rate. They do everything from 10 point strap-on crampons to fully automatic clip-on monopoint. Decathlon, as always, is a good option for more affordable gear that will perform well enough to take you all the way up to grade three, four, and into five. Let us talk a wee bit about winter boots. You can, of course, buy a pair of sturdy B1 boots with a wee bit of flex that will do you all year round from summer scrambling to winter hill walking and a wee bit of winter climbing. If you never intend on going up past about grade three, that's totally fine. Buy them, get them cheap. Things like the Scarpa Marmalada, the Mammut Ayako, I think it is, La Sportiva Triangle Trek. All brands have B1 boots available to you. Strap on a pair of crampons, you'll be grand all the way up through to about grade three and into four. If you want to move on a wee bit into the fours and the fives one day, I would personally recommend going for a B2 boot with a rear heel well indent that you can clip your crampons to. It's a bit easier than doing up fiddly straps with numb fingers. A pair of B2 boots paired up with a pair of semi-automatic crampons will do you all the way up through grade five, six, even beyond if you get a monopoint. A lot easier to climb grade six and seven if you've got a monopoint. Not that I'd know, we will never climb grade five. A couple of tech six moves here and there, but still only a grade five second. One day. If you want to future-proof your ambitions, buy a pair of B2 boots if you can. There's plenty on sale from all the big brands, from La Sportiva, Scarpa, Mammut, Mindol, Boreal, Celeb. I'll do B2 boots. They're all perfectly good. Just do a bit of research on the kind you want, the width, different sizes of feet and all the rest of it. But they all do solid B2 boots that you can bosh on and they will last you for years. Things like the Scarpa Charmos, the Rebel Light, La Sportiva Trangos, they're all very good B2 boots, absolutely grand. Of course, our good friend Decathlon, they do relatively affordable B2 boots, again, perfectly fine, last you for years. If you plan on going up into grade five and beyond, it's probably best to just go straight in, get a pair of B3 boots that will last you forever, basically, as long as they last, They'll take you all the way up your climbing ambitions. You'll never need another pair of boots. I went in with a pair of B2 boots, another pair of B2 boots, another pair of B2 boots, eventually landing on a pair of B3 boots. Wish I'd just gone for the B3 boots. The B3 boots I landed on eventually were the Scarpa Phantom Tex. Super lightweight, nice and stiff. They'll take you up the hardest routes in the world. However, not so good for long, trudgy Scottish walk-ins because they're quite flat. The rubber on them is super lightweight and wears down quite quickly. But if you're gonna go for B3 boots and you're only gonna be climbing in Scotland most of the time, probably best to go for a pair that are quite burly, have a nice rocker to sort of walk in, a good solid rubber sole unit that isn't gonna wear down on all those rocky, snowless walk-ins. Something like the La Sportiva Nepal Cube or the Nepal Extreme, those are the yellow ones that are synonymous with Scottish winter climbing that everyone seems to own at some point. Great boots, last you for years, decent for walk-ins, not too bad at all. Again, when it comes to boots, buy what you can afford. If you're buying second hand, do a bit of research on the fit and the size and all the rest of it. Always buy at least half a size up because you're gonna want a little bit of wiggle room for the toes. If you're kicking in steps or front point, you're gonna want a little bit of room so you're not smashing your toes against the front of the boot. You're also gonna have extra thick socks on, possibly two pairs of extra thick socks on. So go at least half a size up, possibly even a full size up, but just buy what you can afford. If you can afford to get something a little bit more technical, a little bit more modern and lightweight, go for that. If you can't, shop around, buy secondhand, get what you can afford because it will do you just fine on grade one to three. You don't have to worry about mad, technical, expensive gear until you're pushing into mad, technical, scary climbing. So, get your boots, pair it with your crampons. Get your crampons, pair it with your boots. Any of this gear, no matter how low in the technical rating, how high in the technical rating, will be just grand for Scottish grade one to three. So just buy what you can afford, stick it on your feet, and get on out there.